Five ways in which you invest a minimum of 500 trend per month and be able to understand exactly the type of investment you have made. On today's video, I'm simplifying and making it easy to understand five of the most easiest way to invest 500 trend per month in South Africa. So let's get into today's video. Hello future millionaires and billionaires and welcome to another insightful and informative video. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Ivan Sambo and on my channel I'm dedicated on simplifying investment, saving and budgeting for the average South African on the street. The average Ivan on the street earning 4,000 rand per month but wanting to support his family and be able to invest and save for himself. That's what I do on my channel. For those who are new, please do ensure to subscribe to my channel so I can be able to grow this family. So, how to exactly can you invest a minimum of 500 rand per month? Oh, before I forget, I'm not a registered financial advisor. None of my video constitutes financial advice, but they're only for educational purposes. So, let's get into a first way in which you can invest a minimum of 500 rand per month and be able to understand exactly the type of investment you have made. The first one, one of the best one I always, for myself, I always say beginners must use it, is in ETFs, investing in exchange traded funds. In my previous video, I'll put right here, I talk about what are ETFs, how can you invest into them and how do they work. But just for the purpose of this video, let me just recap what I said in that video. ETF basically are a basket of shares, basket of any underlying asset, can be commodities, gold oil it can be property commercial or rental it can be shares whether international or here in south africa it can be index fund which basically is like a measurement of how economy work like the sp 500 which is the top 500 companies in america or the top 40 in south africa it can be any of those who are mixed together in the basket and when you buy a share of an ETF, basically you are buying a share of many other companies or many other properties or many other commodities or indexes that are available. So an ETF is that. So one of the best ways to start investing for your 500 trend is through an ETF. Because number one, it gives you a diversified investment. Number two, majority of ETFs are low risk because they have so many under, uh, things under it. So that one thing lose, for example, you have buy an ETF that follow the top 40 companies in South Africa. If one company there goes down, by example, by 40% and the other 39 companies go up by 20% each, obviously they'll cover that one company that already dropped. So that's the best way to start investing in 500 rand is through an ETF. And ETFs also are available through the, uh, the companies which are offering them like, for example, um, one invest you can go there get it there or easy equity have etfs so if you want to know those people using easy equity you can invest into an etf via easy equity one of the best way if you are starting up in your 500 rand per month put it in an etf you can just pick a uh, two or more etfs there's no minimum you need for it you need 500 rand you can even have invest in an etf if you have 500 rand per month or have uh, 100 rand per month the second way you can invest a minimum of 500 rand per month is through a unit trust. Unit trusts are one of the most oldest and trusted way of investing in South Africa because of one element that sets them apart from, uh, from ETF or anything else. It's the fact that when you deal with, an e with a unit trust, you are dealing with someone who is a specialist in investment. A unit trust is the same as an ETF. A unit trust is a basket that invests in a lot of things under it. You can get a basket of equity uh, of a unit trust that invests in equities, basically investing in shares. Not just one shares, but so many shares. You can get a, a, a unit trust that invests in bonds. I know Alan Gray is an in, a, a unit trust that invests in bonds. You can invest in corporate bonds or, or government bonds. All of those bonds under it. And when you do pick an, a unit trust to invest in it, you have a fund manager who's a professional who always knows how to invest. One of the top performing unit trusts last year saw over 87% in growth. I'll put it right here. And that shows that a, a, some of some unit trusts have fund managers that are able to manage your funds in a one of the best way possible. But also remember, the worst performing ones saw over 42% in loss. So there's also risk that comes with unit trust. So take that into mind when you go into unit trust. Uh, the third way in which you can invest a minimum of 500 rand per month is through individual stocks. 
one of my closest friends invests into three stocks. His entire portfolio is made of only three stocks. Every single month, those three shares, he top them up with 100 rand each every single month. And that, and that for him is a working formula. So if also yourself are looking to invest a minimum of 500 rand per month, you can pick the best shares for yourself invest into them and hold them for long term you can top them up by topping them up meaning that every single month you add and buy more of those shares and hold them for a long duration of time and over time you can see that i have a video which i'll put right here that, that i explain how myself i pick shares so if you're looking to start investing into shares and looking at how you can pick shares for yourself watch this video and understand how exactly you can buy you can pick shares to buy into so that's how you can invest in the shares is equal one of the most simplest one of the most easiest way you can access gse shares or the new york shares and buy them and you can pick them there's no minimum cost for example a share can cost one share for capital is now 1400 but with 500 you can get a you can get a, a, a fraction of that shares and some other shares go for like 200 rand. some shares go even lower than that you can buy as many shares as you want with your 500 rand and invest for long term the fourth way in which you can invest a minimum of 500 rand is through robo advisory apps robo advisory apps for example like the frank app or the stash app they give you access to investment while also being able to advise you on how to adv to, to, to invest your money. A frank app, I know uh, it does what they call risk assessment. So basically you answer a few questions and based on those questions, you can be able to be told how, how many risks are you willing to take or what risk level can you take. And for that, you can invest in different forms within the app so the app does it that does the those risk um, uh, uh, assessment for you and you can invest in it based on those risks the frank app has two form of investment under it which is an etf and also a money market of Ireland Greece. so people are not given that much freedom in terms of where you can invest but for someone who's starting up it's very easy good to use um, apps such as, the, as such as the frank app or stash the stash app is by liberty and it allows you it's using tech for savings account it allows you to invest money into the joint spec stock market the top 40 companies in the joint spec stock market so every time you put money in the stash app the app itself uh, uh, um, and I invest for you your money in the joint spec stock market but it's using a tax-free saving account the stash one about the, 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 the frank one is not a tax-free savings account but it gives you risk assessment so you can know how many risks can you take if you're a risky person you don't want to take so many risks sorry if you're a risk person would like to take risk the app itself will tell you no invest a lot into the etf but if the app says no you're not a person who likes to take risk it will tell, tell you no invest so much money in the money market of Allen Cree within the app itself. So that's the fourth way in which you can invest a minimum of 500 rand per month. The last way in which you can invest a minimum of 500 rand per month is through EC10. In my previous video, I put I will put you, I talk about how EC10 had made me over 170% in profits alone in 2020. This basically, the EC10 basically is um, the list of the top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies that uh, the EC10 company, which now is owned by Easy Quiz, but before it was owned by someone else, I think it was owned by the former CEO of FNP, but now being sold to Easy Equity. That's why it's called now EC10, but before it used to be called DCX10, but now it's called EC10. Basically, it's like a token. It's a token that you buy from Easy Equity or you buy it from the DC10 company. Uh, when you buy that token, you're buying a basket that has the top 10 cryptocurrencies in the world. Your Bitcoin, your Litecoin, all of those coins are cryptocurrency coins that are in that, uh, that, that token. And when you buy a share of that token, you're buying a share of all those top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies. But do remember that cryptocurrency, that EC10 currency, is almost 70% uh, Bitcoin. And the rest are the other nine that shared at 30 percent so also be mindful of that so you can be able to invest a minimum of there's no minimum price actually you can invest any amount you have but it's good for those ones to put 500 rand per month but it has been performing so well last year for myself i made over 170 percent in profit i'm still holding i'm still buying more of it for myself but this is not financial advice just me sharing that I'm, I'm using it so it's one of the best way for beginners to invest 500 per month if they're looking to take a risk the ec10 is risky compared to the other four because it can go up like for 20 percent in a day 
and it's going to go down by 40% in a day. So the EC10 uh, investment is a little bit risk compared to the other four. But the EC10 is available in easy equity. You can go to a D, it's D, it's DSC, no, DXL. Ugh. I'll put it in the description, guys. I'll put it in the description. So one of the best way you can invest for 500 per month if you're looking to invest into cryptocurrencies. But you want to go directly to buy a Bitcoin or go directly to buy a Litecoin or the other coins that are inside uh, the top 10 uh, Bitcoins in the world, uh, cryptocurrencies in the world. So those are the my five ways in which you invest a minimum of 500 rand in South Africa and seek root in your money. Simple ways. These ways are not wanting you to be a technical financial guru. Anyone can do it. As always, guys, I'm Ivan Sambo, your student investor. Thank you so much for watching.